Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. And welcome this morning to the Creating a Prayer Culture for God Prayer Line Podcast Live. Praise the Lord. Today is the first day of July, 2023. Come on, God has blessed us to enter into a new month. Still on fire for him, still loving him, still sharing the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ and still continuing to live a life that's pleasing and acceptable unto him as he continues to prepare us as he all participants are muted as he continues to prepare us amen and we're so just we're thankful to the Lord today as we continue to celebrate our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ we just welcome everyone welcome everyone to this Saturday morning I am Pastor Phoebe Davis and I'm here alongside of my husband Pastor Eric Davis amen and we're just excited in Jesus we thank God for our pastors who join with us every morning amen that we come together on these lines praise God and every time we're coming together it's so that we can continue to lift up the name of Jesus. This is what keeps us going. This is what keeps us moving forward. Amen. And so welcome, 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 welcome again this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Amen. And so as we get started this morning, as we've been continuing to learn about Peter, um, but as before we get started this morning, just want to open up in prayer Amen, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just come before you this morning, God. We're so grateful and thankful for the time that you have given us and for what you have provided for us as we continue to seek after you, Lord. We thank you, God, that you left us 66 books here to teach us and to guide us and to help us so that we will learn, God, how to live holy God for you, even in the midst of sufferings, even in the midst of pains or hardships, God, we thank you that we've got the gospel of Jesus Christ that we can go and we can read and we can learn, God, and we can grow and we can spend time with you as you continue to teach us, Lord, how to be able to overcome these things. For we overcome by the, the, the word of, by the blood of the lamb, Amen. And we thank you, Lord, that we're able to be able to turn to you, Father. You have given us your instructions, your directions, and your guidance throughout throughout the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so, Father, we just thank you, Jesus, for what you did for us. Thank you for dying for us so that we would have an opportunity to live and walk in your freedom. And as We are continuing to learn, God. Not only are we teaching, God, but we're also being taught. We're being restored. We're being built up, God. And we're able to help in building up and restoring others by introducing them to you. Not preaching and teaching our own gospel, but preaching and teaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so, God, as we just continue on, as we continue to pray for this nation, Lord, praying that people would turn to you, Jesus, praying that people will look to you for answers in whatever department it may be, whatever it is that they're doing in life, God. We're praying that people will turn to you. We, we thank you for all those who've been placed all over the world, God, who represent you, who are followers of Christ, dedicated to sharing the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we just praise you this morning just for being up. So I thank you that you blessed us with another month, God, the month of July, the seventh month, praise God, of the year. So God, we just give thanks. We thank you this morning. We love you. We pray that as the word goes forth on this morning, God, that it will provide that nourishment to our bodies that we need, for we know that the word of God is that vitamin, it's that medicine that we continue to feed off, that continues to build and lift us up, God, as we share this time with you god in your word we give thanks god we pray right now just for the the spirit of healing god to just begin to just go all throughout the world throughout the land god for there are many god that we've been praying for god for health and healing 
And we thank you, Lord, that their bodies are being restored, God. Their bodies are being repaired. Their minds are being restored, God. We thank you for the people that you've placed around them in the care facilities to extend that care to them, God. And even for those who may be at home, God, being strengthened up. Lord, we thank you, God, that even now with them, Lord, you're continuing to pour out your spirit on them, God. We thank you, Lord, for it is with your stripes, God, that they're all been healed god we've all been healed father and continuing to heal and so as we dine and feast on the word of god this morning father god you go before us for the god because if you don't go before us we will not go so thank you thank you thank you jesus for allowing us to be up and ready this morning god to dine and feast on your truth we pray and ask all these things in jesus christ's name we pray Amen, amen. So let us go ahead and get right into the teaching this morning. We're going to continue on as we've been learning, praise God, about uh, out of 1 Peter. We have really been being fed some, some awesome, awesome teaching. Amen. And so as God is continuing to, to bring us all together as we're learning about Peter here, amen, as he's sending out the encouragement about how are we are to live during these times amen even being with what was happening there we thank god we're seeing a lot of those things happening now and christ he has given us the plan amen he's given a plan for our life that we are to conduct our lives by because we don't want to be going around as hypocritical pastors amen just teaching and preaching something that not of god that it didn't come through the gospel of jesus christ and so we rather go through god's test now amen as he's confirming our commitment amen seeing are we really truly saved amen and we thank god that he's given us the tools that we need in in order to go forward amen as followers of Christ, we have to begin to realize that there are going to be those times when we're going to have to face some things, amen, all because of a follower of Christ. When you're saved and you love the Lord, you're living for him, where we are living for him, well, there's going to be some seasons that may not be so favorable, amen, but that does not mean that we are to pull ourselves away from God, amen, we ought to draw ourselves closer to him and live this, this life continuously, not just uh, picking and choosing the times when we want to do what God has commanded us to do as we were learning here um, out of the book of First Peter, the fourth chapter, as we were learning um, out of verse 17 in the King James Bible. But I want to real quick just share with you what the verse of the day was today. I thought it was just so befitting for what uh, we've been learning, amen, out of the book of 1 Peter. But it, it reads as this. No, it was, it might have been the one I saw read on yesterday, was the one I wanted to share this morning. Um, but, but where was it? Yes, but um, it shows the verse of the day for today. Um, it, it comes out of the book of John, the first chapter in the 29th verse in the King James Bible. Um, and it reads as this. The next day, John seeth Jesus coming unto him and saith, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And it as I was reading that scripture, it took me back to what we're learning. Here it, it teaches about when John seeth Jesus coming unto him and saying, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. When we look at that scripture and we look here to where uh, Peter is, is teaching us, amen, and revealing to us, and it's just so amazing there. When it talked about John, and when he saw Jesus, he said, Behold, 
the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And when we think about it, that is exactly what Jesus came to do. He came, he took on our sins. It, it wasn't that we did something that was so great and we earned it. No, we have to understand that the purpose and truth in our freedom, even as we're coming together, amen, it's, this is what the world considers Fourth of July weekend. Well, for us, when we think about the Fourth of July, amen, we think about freedom. But we know that our freedom came through Christ. That is how we received our freedom. Now that we are followers of Christ, born again believers, this is where our freedom stands. And when we can look to the word of God, the word of God is true. It's proven. It means exactly what it is saying. Jesus, he behold, he was the lamb of God. He came to take, take on the sins of the world, take it away the sin of the world. And that is what he did. And because of that, he's given us the opportunity now to be saved. Number one, we had to first believe in Jesus. Amen. Believe what his word says, what it stands for. And through that, now we're free in Christ and we're continuing to look to the word of God to help us to remain at this place amen we're looking upon jesus we're looking to continue to remain in that freedom place with him and as i was just reading through and learning and studying and we realized that when we're living trying to live this godly life godly lifestyle there are some things that come against you especially when you're representing christ we have to understand people are not always going to receive what we share from the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. But we're not going to stop continuing sharing it with them. Amen. Because we have to work out our soul salvation through fear and trembling. And so here as Peter is continuing to, to help to strengthen up the, the, the people here. We have to understand that as we're living for Christ, it's not always going to be, things may not always go our way. This is why it's so important that we pray and we wait on the Lord. We wait until God tells us to do something. We wait until he shows us the way. But in the book, the 17th chapter here says, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And it, it says, if it first began at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel? Well, we can read it here in the scriptures. Amen. Even though we're believers in Christ, we're followers of Christ, we're going to still be judged. Amen. But God is teaching us and helping us here in the scriptures so that we can learn Amen. How to live. Everything that we need is in the word of God. When people go outside of the will of God, it's because they choose to. Amen. Because God has already given us the plan and purpose for our lives, but we have to continue on with him. No matter what happens, no matter what comes our way, we're going to continue to worship we're going to continue to pray. We're going to continue to keep coming together, preaching and teaching. Amen. Remember, we teaching, but we're also being taught. We have to be the first partakers. And as we're learning, praise God, we're going to partake in some of Christ's suffering. That's just part of being a believer. That's part of being a true follower of Christ. But I love it. He instructs us on what? To do even if you go back up to verse 16 in the book of first Peter, the fourth chapter, in the 16th verse out of the King James Bible. Yet, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. So, as Peter has encouraged them to live, amen. Also, too, their sufferings are gonna come, amen. 
the more we follow Christ, there are going to be some things that are going to happen as we continue to devote our lives to Christ. But even if evil tries to come against us, we're still going to glorify God. This is his plan and purpose for our life. It's for us to glorify him. When we begin to look back on followers of Christ, when we begin to look back at Christ, when the, his father had given him the instruction on what he was to come here and do, he kept his eyes fixed on his father. He was able to go through, even though there were times they were people were against him. They didn't want to accept the truth. He was offering up healing. People, some didn't want the healing. Some re did receive the healing. Amen. But as we look, but that did not stop him. Even as he was trying to share with the Pharisees, the Sadducees and the Pharisees, even when he was trying to give them the opportunity to be saved, you know, to know the truth, to come away from tradition and come away from um, what was be pleasing to people. And we see it now. He did not deviate from what he came to do. And as he was preparing for, for his death, amen, he was preparing others, amen, to die in that flesh and become alive in Christ, amen. He was teaching about his father's spiritual kingdom. And we're blessed to be able to have this information here in the word of God to use it. And we've been using it and we have been seeing God work. We're been, we've been seeing miracles performed, not because of us, but because of our belief in Christ. And it may not have come right then, but over time, it's happening. Because we have a love for Christ, amen. We want to do what pleases our Father. Because he's watching us, he's seeing everything that we do. Our motives, while we're doing certain things, we don't want to just be here on earth living, praise God. And when it comes time for us to be with the Lord, we don't want it to be in vain. Amen. We don't want it to be, oh my God, all these things that we did, all this, the, our life that we lived and we still did not make it in. Amen. We Now is the time for us to prepare, you know, as God prepares the church, amen, there's going to be some things that are going to come. Remember, we said right there, 17, in the book of 1 Peter, the fourth chapter in the 17th verse, for the time is come. It's come. Now is the time. It says that judgment must begin at the house of God, at the house of God. And if it first began at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Jesus Christ? Now, it, it, it has begun now, amen, for us to really, truly believe, amen. Because we're seeing believers turning away. We're seeing people just going back out there and doing their own thing. And we do not want to be a part of this. We want to continue to do what God is required us to do. In the book of 2 Timothy, the first chapter in the 12th verse in the King James Bible, it reads as this, that that is why I am suffering as I am. Yet this is no cause for shame because I know whom I have believed. I know whom I have believed. The more we spend time with God, the greater our belief in him becomes. And then as we're suffering, even as Paul suffered, uh, Peter, you, and when we look at it, look what Peter became. When Jesus was, was going about looking for people, amen, he calling them out. We look at it. They, yeah, they, they had their things, amen, that they needed to work on, that needed to be, corrected but thank god that jesus took out that time to prepare the disciples to get them ready to get them to that place in him where they needed to be just as he's doing with us and i, I think back to when he said if any man desires to follow after me 
he must first what deny himself pick up his cross and follow me right then and there he was letting them know you're gonna have to deny yourself of some things in order to follow after me and we see amen everybody don't always want to hear what does saith the lord but for those who don't want to hear it amen we shake the dust off our feet we keep it moving because there's always going to be someone around or someone there that is looking for the truth we're seeing it it's so much false teaching and false preaching even false living out there but for us we have to continue to keep our minds our, everything focused on christ we have to and it goes on to say here yet this is no cause for shame because i know whom i have believed and i am convinced that he is able to guard what i have entrusted to him until that day we got to have that true belief amen we got to believe and really trust god we was talking about that on some of our thursday night wisdom bible study teaching on this same conference line and we were talking about trusting in the lord with all thy heart leading not to our own understanding but acknowledging him and he shall direct our path and that goes for whatever we may be facing in our relationship with christ it doesn't matter what's going on around us we still have to do what god requires for us amen God is purging. He's strengthening up the church. He's cleaning out some things in us. Amen. The time is now. We're in the crucial phase here. Thank you, Peter, for reminding us of this. Amen. Some things that he had to learn. The disciples, even as they went out, amen, they were prepared to further the gospel of Jesus Christ. They were going to be the ones who were going to go about preaching and teaching about jesus they didn't preach about themselves they preached about jesus and in this time believe me things came up against them peter things came up against them some were thrown in jail amen some were told to leave these places where they were out in in just in the common areas preaching and teaching the gospel people were against them but it did not stop them from sharing the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. We thank God for his peace. We thank God for his strength. We are so grateful to God for everything. We're not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. But as we continue to live for him, as we continue to trust and serve him the time is now thank you peter for teaching us as we suffer be responsible share the gospel don't let anything change you continue to move forward we're not dropping out of the race amen Hey, it's better that we go ahead and go through these trials and, and, and tests now, amen, as God is purifying us, as he's purging us, as he's getting us prepared, amen. All the things that are happening are so that we will completely trust in God, that we will completely look to him. Even when others aren't, we continue, You, we must continue to do what God commands us to do. Yeah. I just can think back even on yesterday as uh, Pastor Eric and I, we've been for a minute here saying, okay, we've got to go over to uh, Richmond Hill and we wanted to remove all of our stuff in storage for the church. We wanted to move it to a storage closer to us. And we said, Lord, we had to make that commitment to go ahead and do that. So as we went and unloaded, just me and him praise god i said we said lord we'll, we'll do it god because we really love god and what god 
blesses us with when it comes to the things for, for the ministry. We thank God for that. You know, it was him that blessed us to have those things and everything that we do for Christ. We want to make sure we want to do it, give it our best. And we said, we've got to go and get this furniture out. We've got to move it to a closer location. It took me and him two trips, but I thank God that we were able to do it. And as we cleaned out, rolled on back over on this side, loaded up in the storage. We called. The people had the storage ready, and everything moved so smoothly. And we said, because this is God's. We got to make sure we take care of this. Because we love God so much, we don't want to disappoint him. And some people may think, well, that's a small thing. But no, this is something that the Lord blessed us with, amen. And we want to make sure we take care of it. And it's the same thing with our bodies and with our temples and with our minds. God has blessed us to be in our right mind. God has blessed us to, to be healed, to be strong, amen, to be set free. And so with this freedom, we want to make sure that we're responsible, even if we're suffering, even if some, we want to make sure that we be responsible. How is that? By sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ, applying it to our lives, praying, repenting, asking God for forgiveness continuously, going out, telling people about the good news of Jesus. And also, too, when we have our virtual moments, we're sharing the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're not saying, oh, everything is going to be perfect and great. No, amen. But over time, but this is how you're going to be able to withstand those, those fiery darts. This is how you're going to be able to stand the test of time. And so, as it says, I love it there. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. He's purging us. He's cleansing us. Amen. He's getting us to that place. So now that we can really worship God. We thank God for this freedom. And two, as we share the good news in the gospel of Jesus Christ with others, we want to make sure we share the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ, not just some news. Amen. Not telling people if you, Give a thousand dollars here. All these things are going to come for you. No. Just bring God what belongs to him. First, believe it in Christ. Amen. Accepting him in our heart. You know, believing in our, our mind. Amen. And how are we able to stick to this? Well, the word of God. This is what's helping us. This is what's keeping us. And so as we continue to nurture ourselves through the word of God, we help in nurturing others through the word of God. Because we don't want to do all this work, amen. And then the day comes and everything that we did was in vain. Because we thought we were saved and doing what was right. Oh, man, every day has been great. I haven't have had any things try to come against me. Oh, man. Those are the times when you really need to be praying and looking and saying, wait a minute now. I got to make sure I'm in that right standing with God. We don't want to get so comfortable in certain things that we start to give more time to that than we do to Christ. But he gives us those times to enjoy, amen. But he gives us that opportunity every day, all day to enjoy him, amen, to receive of his truth. We do. We're going to face persecution, trial. We're going to be suffering. But in Christ, we realize it's for a greater cause. Amen. Because guess what? It's helping us to die to some things in our flesh. But it's also causing us to become more alive in the things of God. Hey, praise God. And we begin, wow, God, okay. It was worth it because now, Lord, I get to be with you, Jesus. I get to die here on earth and become into that place with Christ. Amen. Because this is what we're doing it for every day that we're living. Amen. It's so that we can prepare 
to be with Jesus and not just ourselves, but others. For we see there are many unbelievers out here that don't know, but they're watching and they're seeing how followers of Christ respond to things. And so we thank God that he's teaching us how to respond. We want to be assured, amen. I remember last year when we was talking on about that blessed assurance, about that insurance, that confidence in Christ and knowing. And now we're seeing as the days pass by, as things go about, amen, so that we serve God on all days, all occasions, good, bad, we just continue to serve him. And we continue to pray, asking God to help us and to continue to reveal himself to us. And what I love about the Lord, he does just that. Amen. He does just that to where we don't have to be going around worrying and wondering. We don't have to worry. Amen. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but he's given us love, power, and a sound mind. God is amazing, amen, and what he does is amazing and how he continues to keep us. See, as we study, amen, and we read the word of God, the answers have all been left here for us, amen. And so we don't take it lightly. We continue to stand on the word of God because we trust God because we know that his promises are real, amen. He is real. And if God be for us, then who will be against us? People are going to be against us for preaching the truth. Amen. But we're not going to start preaching the truth because souls are still being saved. Amen. Souls are still being saved. And so as we continue to look to Jesus, as we continue to keep our eyes fixed on him, Thank you, Peter. Thank you, John, Paul. Thank you, all followers. Thank you, David, all those who in the word of God, their lives, the things that they endured, how they were able to overcome. As we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimonies, amen. As we can testify to the word of God, we can testify to the truth for we know it has set us free amen it was a great feeling when we finished that on yesterday amen once it was accomplished because we weren't doing it for us we were doing it unto the lord but as we continue on preaching and teaching we thank god for every platform that he gives us amen as we continue to keep sharing the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for this time that we were able to come together to grow and learn of your truth and your word. And God, as we continue to pray for souls to be saved, God, as we continue to pray for backsliders and prodigal sons and daughters, God, to really Repent, God, and just turn to you, Jesus, as we continue to keep our eyes fixed on you, Jesus, as you have placed before us the answer, the instruction manual, the two. And Lord, as we continue to submit to your will, God, as we continue to obey your commandments, Father God, we want to do what pleases you. And you have left out a, a, a plan, an itinerary for us to live by God so that we can continue to fulfill the purpose that you have in our life. And even in the midst of storms, God, even in the midst of trials, Lord, we've got your word to continue to declare out in the atmosphere, God, to, to call forth those things that are not to be as though they were as we look for the instruction, God, as we see, Lord, your word is true. It's proven. And because of your word, God, we're able to stand and we're still standing. We've not arrived to heaven yet, God, but we are on our way. And we're sharing and preparing 
as many as we can, Lord, to do the same. But most importantly, Lord, we're praying for your peace, for your joy, your instruction, your guidance. As we continue to move forward in you, Father, we pray and ask all these things in Jesus Christ's name. We pray, amen and amen. God bless, God bless again. Thank you, thank you for joining with us this morning as we continue to move a little higher, amen, as we continue to walk in the truth, amen, as we're walking in the word of God, hey, we're looking to Jesus for every answer, we're not picking and choosing, hey, the scripture teaches us, cast all our cares upon him, for he cares for us, and we are learning to live according to God's will, and not ours, amen. And we pray, we pray that God's will be done here on earth just as it is in heaven. And in that, praise God, we're continuing to move forward. We continue to walk in God's way, amen. Even in spite of what comes against us, we're still going to look to Jesus. We're still going to keep our eyes fixed on him. And we're going to do what he has required us to do through the word, to trust him with all our heart. And lead not to our own understanding, but in all of our ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct our path. That comes out of the book of Proverbs, the third chapter through the, the third chapter, amen, verses five through six. And as we look to Jesus, no matter what, amen. So God bless you again. Thank you for joining with us. We're going to take this time out now to... All participants are unmuted.